Welcome back guys to another how-to video from White Trash Racing. Today I'm bringing you guys a video that uh, I could not find on YouTube anywhere. Honestly, I found the, end up finding the wiring diagram and that's how I'm gonna explain this to you guys uh, for a Honda CT90. Uh, this is a 1970 to a 76, I believe. It might be similar for the other ones, but as far as I know, this is the wiring for the K2 from 1970 to 1976 on a Honda CT90. What I'm gonna show you today is an example of the, the CT90 I have in front of me so that you can see the wires physically yourself and it'll be a lot easier for you to connect your bike, get it running. So uh, I followed a diagram that I found on a Facebook group that uh, was just the little lines and basically told me the colors of the wires uh, from a letter. And that's how I was able to get this bike to have spark and run. Um, haven't got the carburetor on and everything like that, but I was able to get it have spark. So let me show you what I got going on here. First thing I want to show you is the wires up here in the headlight. Most of those run up here into your ignition switch. These are the ones I got coming out right there. I didn't really get into this too much right here. So if I'm not any help here, I'm sorry, but those are the colors that I got right there. Um, running up into the headlight switch. This right here, I do know this was the original uh, on off uh, with the key. So if you connect these two wires, which it looks like it's a blue and uh, maybe a red. Um, and then this one is just a solid red wire, it appears. So if you connect those two, that basically connects the key or turns the key on like um, how it was. Then you'll have all the wires running down here. Again, I didn't get into any of this, but I just wanted to show you guys the color wires I've got right here and how they go. Um, there's these two ones that are kind of like in a little bit of a sheave with a no color really. This one's white. That one might have been white. This one right here is yellow, and that one is uh, like a green and a red stripe. And those run down here into this main harness which comes right here and then the other side goes i believe down into the case um that is what it looks like right there yeah so these wires right here run into the case these wires right here they run into the case so all those wires right there they connect here so those wires that green and red goes to the green and red stripe. That yellow sheave goes to the yellow stripe. That white one goes to the white stripe. And then that other color, whatever that would be, it looks like that's an orange wire right there or beige. So this other wire right here, this one right here is your magneto or your, um, the points. I'm pretty sure they, this goes into the points right there. That's where the points there underneath this cover. There's one wire coming out of there. And it goes to this little blue wire right there. Okay. The wiring back here. It's most of this I noticed is all pretty much color coded. So like this red one's going to go to that red one. This green one went to that green one. Uh, this is where it gets a little different. I don't know if these wires are faded or what. But this is orange. And it goes to basically... Um, I think these are like your I'm pretty sure that's your tail light so i think those are those two wires are your tail light right there so if you got tail light problems it's a orange and like a white okay and then the other ones i want to show you is uh your coil because i couldn't find that anywhere so the coil if you got the if you order a coil off uh online like off of ebay or amazon you're gonna get a coil like i got and it came with a green wire and a yellow wire, okay? The green wire was pretty obvious um, because I had this little other one that was coming out right here and it was coming out of that uh, little spot on the, I think they call this the condenser. So your condenser right here is supposed to split to two. So if it doesn't split to two, like it, your wiring's cut up, that's supposed to split to two. And then this green wire right here is the green wire that runs right there has a little uh, little extension on it that's pretty similar to the same way the honda 
uh, ATCs are. They kind of got that same little extension wire. But then the other green wire splits off and runs to your coil. This yellow wire goes to the other split, uh, other split thing here, which has it on the bottom. It's a red wire down there. You see that wire down there? Look, it's that one right there. It's that red wire goes to this splitter and this splitter goes to a red and white stripe that goes into that uh, CDI box. I think that's what that is. And then the yellow uh, wire goes into that splitter. Okay. And then we'll just go over the other connections here. Uh, so obviously your ground would just go to the ground on the battery and then your power wire for the battery it was this one right here. It's this blue with like a red stripe. Um, and it's coming out of this little uh, wire harness right here, which is also coming out of the main harness that comes up from here, okay? That actually, I think that's actually the same wire that is right here, I'm pretty sure. That wire right there that your ignition switch connects the power to is the same wire that comes back here and you end up getting um, power from the battery from. So this plugs into one of your things on the battery. I haven't figured it out yet. If I do figure it out, I'll update the video, but I haven't figured out where the other wire on the battery would go. It wasn't super clear on the diagram, so I wasn't able to figure that out. Anyways, this other wires, let's see. Coming from the CDI, let's just call it that. I don't know if that's what it is, but that little box, the CDI, has a yellow one. It goes to a yellow one, okay? It has also coming out of it, it has like a, a green with a stripe on it, and it goes to also a similar color with like a green and a stripe on it. Then you have this orange one running out of it right here. It goes to another orange one with a little connector there that's running from this main harness here so and i think like i said that other one is the one that goes here but uh that's pretty much it guys hopefully this will help you guys out because i could not find any it's just some guy rambling on about you know what you don't need so that's pretty much it i think i covered all the wiring besides what's up here in this top head unit but uh um, I will tell you this, that, uh, I don't think there's any kill switches or anything in that. That's just blinkers and something. So I don't think that could really possibly make the bike not run. So all you need to make it run would be that wire. And I just showed you if this guy video helps you guys out, uh, appreciate it. If you guys could like comment and subscribe, that helps the channel out a lot. Um, yeah. See you guys in the next one.